There's no better way to enjoy summer in Seattle than relaxing in your own backyard. Today we're going to teach you how to build a DIY lounge chair so you can enjoy the summer sun all season long. I'm Kirsten Dunn and this is Dunn DIY. This lounge chair is the perfect weekend project and you can pick up all of the materials at your local Dunlumber. The first step is cutting our wood to length with a circular saw and a speed square. If you click the link in the description of this video, you can see the full blog post with all of the board lengths written out. Once your wood is cut to the right length, it's time to make the more intricate cuts with a jigsaw. Use a straight edge and the provided diagram to turn the 1x10 pieces into the two side panels for the chair. The 2x4 and 2x2 pieces will be marked and cut to create a soft curve for the chair back and the 1x4 pieces will be cut to a curve for the top of the chair. Clamp down your wood before cutting and always wear safety eyewear. Once all the pieces are cut, sand everything down to make sure your chair has a nice, smooth surface. I focus my attention on the slats and the outer frame pieces that are most visible. Otherwise, I stuck to a sanding sponge to remove any large splinters from less prominent pieces. To assemble the frame, sandwich the end pieces in between the side panels. Add a third two by four piece in the middle, 16 and three quarters of an inch from the head. Secure everything together with one and a half inch screws. Now we'll add the slats. Starting at the foot of the chair, add the one by three slats spaced five sixteenths of an inch apart, working your way up the chair until you reach the angled back. Feel free to adjust the spacing as needed to make sure the slats end at exactly the right point. Pre-drill slats with a countersink to prevent the soft cedar from splitting, then secure the slats in place with one and a half inch screws. Lay out the vertical one by four slats and attach the curved frame pieces to the back. Position the slats so that they come together at the bottom and fan out at the top to no wider than 24 inches. When securing the 2x4 and 2x2 frame pieces to the slats, keep the varying width of the frame pieces in mind and adjust your screw length accordingly so you don't break through to the front of the chair. That would definitely get in the way of relaxation. To attach the back of the chair to the seat, secure the back with hinges to a 2x4 piece and then position the 2x4 inside of the chair frame. Finally, add two 2x4s on hinges as an adjustable back support. The last step of assembly is to add the legs. Position them sideways in each of the four corners and in the middle of the chair and secure in place with one and a half inch screws. That's it. We hope you enjoy your new lounge chair and we can't wait to see you next time on Dun DIY. Happy lounging.